Hi, I'm Charlie, and this is the Charmwood DS1020 drum sander. Why DS drum sander? Why 1020? 10 inch width or 20 inch width on a double pass. Drum sander, what can we tell you about it? Well, if you look in here, we have a large drum. That's 132 mil in diameter by 260 in length. And that has a wrap on it. What's a wrap? The wrap is the abrasive material. That's the new name for you to remember, the wrap. That is 82 mil wide and a 1,550 millimeters long. That's a hell of a lot of abrasive rotating on this drum at 1,440 RPM. And that's driven by this beautiful, big, chunky, high torque induction motor rated 1,100 watts. One and a half horsepower if we're talking in uh, English. And that power is contained within this chassis, which is cast iron. This is absolutely solid piece of equipment. This chassis goes from the base to the top to the width. All this is cast iron, absolutely solid. The machine weighs about 70, 72 kilos, a lot of mass. That gives rigidity, torsional rigidity, there's no twisting, and this is solidly mounted. So, to adjust the height, we use this large handle on the top, very easy. We're only looking to take 0.8 of a mil of material off. We're not planing it, we're not surfacing it, we're doing a final finish. So 0.8 is a maximum depth, which we'd like you to think about moving this one eighth of a turn maximum. Dimensions of the timber, that you can finish in here are a minimum thickness of 5 mil, a maximum of 75 mil, and a minimum length of 65 mil. To ensure mobility in the workshop, this 72 kilo machine comes complete with a wheel kit and handles with fold flat so you don't catch them in the workshop. Lift it gently. When we're ready to start sanding, we turn the machine on, we place our work on the feed belt, and that feed belt is driven by this 50 watt motor, and we can regulate the speed from zero, as you see it here, right up to three meters per minute. By controlling the speed, you affect the performance and the finish you get from the sander. Should it be required, you can adjust the tracking of this belt, that is the position it sits on this roller, by use of this adjuster either side of the bed. When it's time to change the wrap on the drum for a different grid or because through fair and wear and tear you need to fit another one the wrap is held in place by these clamps here spring loaded and you release the clamp to free the wrap up as you can see we've connected up our 100 mil accessory to the outlet port we've got a dust collector here we recommend a minimum capacity on your dust collection of 1,000 cubic metres per hour. Let's fire up, let's go sand. Uh -huh. 